So yesterday on the stage, uh, Facebook's Nick Clegg said that his company had sort of a different and I, a lot of people interpret it as looser standard for politicians mm -hmm. um, on their platforms. Yeah. Um, do you think that politicians should have different standards um, on YouTube than, than other content creators because of the sort of specific nature of their speech? Yeah. I, you know, so politicians are, you know, of course, are democratically elected, at least in, in most countries. And there is, um, it's important for that content to be seen. So, you know, in general, actually, when we make policies, we have, in most cases, what we call an EDSA exception, which would be educational, documentary, scientific, or artistic. And so that would be the type of content that we would say doesn't always meet that same criteria. Um, so when you have a, a political officer that is making information that is really important for the constituents to see or for other global leaders to see, that is content um, that, we would, that we would leave up because we think it's important for other people to see. Um, one, one, thing, one important distinction I'll say is that uh, look, even, even if we were to take it down, it would be covered by all the news stories. And um, the news is always going to provide that information and they're going to provide it with context. So even if we take something down, a lot of that's controversial, it's often covered by the press, um, but then it has the context around it of like, this is why we left it up, this is what we think about this event that happened with a politician. Mm -hmm. Again, it should be said once again, the only reason that YouTube is still in business is because they're backed by Google and have unlimited funds.